Around 1,500 participants are here in Vienna this week for the 61st session of the Commission on Narcotic Drugs, including UNODC's regional representative for Southeast Asia and the Pacific, Jeremy Douglas. So, Jeremy, can you tell me what are some of the most pressing drug challenges in the Southeast Asia region? Southeast Asia is really a unique region when it comes to drug issues. So we have the Golden Triangle, which is something I think a lot of us have heard about. It's this kind of part of the Mekong area. Um, so in that area, we have still significant opium production. It's the second highest opium production producing area in the world. At the same time, though, we're seeing a shift from traditional opiates to synthetic drugs, mainly methamphetamine, but we're also seeing other kinds of synthetic drugs push into the market. And it's now probably the largest single point geographically in the world producing methamphetamine. So we have these two drug challenges that are really taxing the region, and they tax the region in different ways. So I'm here to kind of explain this challenge to the, to the global community. What are you hoping to achieve here then with all the participants who are here for CND? Yeah, well I'm hoping that they understand the shift that's underway, the one that I just kind of touched on, uh, the shift to synthetics. The reason being that they pose particular challenges to state security, state sovereignty, and also to public health. So there's a whole gamut of different challenges that come with the shift to synthetics. Um, we see a lot more money being made by organized crime on one side. We see uh, that money being used to corrupt state officials and change the way states are even operating. And then we see an impact on drug users, on the other hand, with drug treatment, which is not made for synthetic drugs. So what we need everyone to kind of leave this place understanding is this region needs help. This region has a big challenge on its hands and the UNODC is in a position to help as well. What is UNODC doing at the moment to help the, in, with those problems? Hmm. Well, we're running a regional program which is helping the states to deal with this shared challenge of synthetics. So either the precursors that are flowing into the Golden Triangle or the drugs that are flowing out. This is truly a transnational challenge. So six to ten states at any one time need to be involved in a shared strategy to address the flows that are going in and out of the Golden Triangle. At the same time, we're here to talk about the challenge of, of uh, drug treatment, so we've got a program in that area as well. So the, the, dr the trafficking, law enforcement, organized crime type programs that we're operating, and then the drug treatment type programs we're operating. So I want to, we want to demonstrate that UNODC has some options on the table to help the member states. Okay, great. Well, I hope you're successful. Thank you. Thank you.